The chemist in Space Station 14 is directly tied with the medical department. The medical department basically cannot function without your assistance, and if you do not help the medical department, the station will very quickly fall apart. Uh, it is actually rather difficult to teach how to be a chemist. Um, for lack of a better term, the chemist is a Wikipedia job. And what I mean by that is, in order to make the drugs you need, you have to follow very specific recipes, and you're never going to figure them out just by clicking buttons. And, like, some of the more advanced ones, like Romerol, are 15 different chems and one in a perfect order, else you might literally blow yourself up. So, yes, it's a Wikipedia job. Um, I'm not going to say any, like, personal opinions on what I think about chem. But, anyways, I will do my best to give a rough guideline of just how to function in the job. Okay, so step one, you're going to spawn in chem. You're going to spend most of your round here if you're actually doing your job, but I heavily encourage you to get out and actually like talk to people, because you will lose your mind here. And do not be the Walter White that makes drugs, please God. Anyways, so to start, you're going to want to get a beaker, preferably a large beaker. And you're going to want to come over to this thing called the chemical dispenser. And this is where almost all the drugs are made. Well, all the drugs are made here, but you barely even have to leave this machine to do your job. You basically want to stand in this little tile area, doing most of everything. Anyways, I'll give an example of how to make Bicard, which, if you watch a medical video, that heals brute damage. It is a very, very common drug. So, to make Bicard, you first need to make an Operblin. An Operblin? I can't. I can't pronounce shit. I'm sorry. But that is just Oxy, Sugar, and Carbon. Now we have that. But in order to make Bicard, you need to add more carbon. So I'm doing it by units of 15, because that mathematically equates out to the most I could fit in this beaker without having, like, excess. Okay, so now I have the bicard. You want to go, you go to the machine right next to it called a chem master. You put it in there, and now it's, you can see on the UI here, it's still in the container, but it needs to go into the buffer. So you just click all to move it all over, now it's in the buffer. And you can take the beaker back out, so, because you're going to have to make more drugs. And if you go to the output, you can see that the label's there, you can pick the pill it looks like, and there's 90 in the buffer. But, you can't create anything. Okay, well, how do you create something? Well, to make a bottle, you want to come to a bottle box which spawn in chem lockers, like this one. See? A chemical locker. You take a bottle out, you put it simply into the chem master, this is all just through left-clicking. Go back to the output, and say... Don't forget to make a label, and you can see here the container is a bottle, 0 out of 30. Don't forget to label it like that, buy a card. And bottles are always maximum of uh, 30 units, so you might as well make a 30 unit bottle. No point making like 25, that's just a waste of the bottle's capacity. And all you do is click create, it subtracts 30 from the buffer, you eject it, now you have a bottle of buy a card. And I recommend as a chemist, you put it on the window. Preferably facing inwards towards med, because bottles are in short supply, so it's better for the doctors to... Um, unless you have a huge surplus of medicine, I recommend you just give the medicine to the doctors so they can do their job and administer it, rather than putting it public. Okay, so how do you make a pill? Well, to make a pill, you just go to your pill canister box, which you'll find practically anywhere in medical, and you just slap that in there, and you go to output. Once again, make sure you label it. And it's helpful to label how many units are in it, because for bicard specifically, if you go over 30 units, you'll overdose people and they'll start jittering and they'll asphyxiate a little bit and take some poison damage. Asphyxiation doesn't really matter, they'll heal that back. But the poison's annoying. So don't go over 30 units, this is a maximum dosage. And honestly, you don't need to go over 30 units because bicard heals 4 brute damage per unit. So it does 120 healing, and unless somebody's horribly crit, it's not going to like help them if they're still standing. But it doesn't hurt. And for pills... You can actually make multiple. So I have 60 units left, so I can make two pills of 30. And they both just go into the pill canister automatically. And the pill canister is a container, so like you could just press Z with it in your hand, or press e, hover over it and press E. And you can just take the pills out, and same thing. You can just distribute them to med. And there you go, there's your units. And it lets people know exactly what's in it, and it's very helpful in that regard. Uh, very quickly... I mean, that's basically the gist of med. You just go on the wiki and look at recipes. But I'll show one more recipe, which is uh, Dexalin. And Dexalin is a little bit different of how it operates. 
because in order to make Dexalin, it actually uses a catalyst, which that means um, the part of the drug or the mixing isn't lost. So to make Dexalin, you have to take plasma and grind it. And then you just take your beaker back out. You come over here. And first you make Dexalin, which is just oxygen and plasma. So see how I have Dexalin? But if I want to make Dexalin plus, you take Dexalin. And you also want to mix in iron and carbon. It's very simple. And if you do it this way, once again, max ma mathematical perfect amount of 90. And as you can see here, I still have the plasma because it's a catalyst and isn't used. But it's still the same result. You just put the Dexalin Plus in there. Now the plasma isn't in there. And you're back to step one where you could just take your pill bottle. Put it in there. I mean, I, Dexalin I think is better as a bottle, but you get the picture here. So I could do that. Dex Plus 30U. No, not 300. And make three of them. And now I simply have three pills of 30. And, uh, yeah, there's more drugs out there. You're going to want to make a lot of them. The basic drugs are like Dermalin, Bicard, Dilovin, and... I mean, Trico is pretty okay. Uh, I guess you can make Hyro for the rare radiation, but even radiation is not very common. Dexalin's nice. You're going to want Dexalin. Um... Honestly, I'm just going to link the Wikipedia. If you want to learn chem, it's best you just go through the list and look at the drugs yourself. Uh, it, there's no benefit in me naming off every single chem in the game because there's just too many. It is not possible. You're not going to retain the information of me just telling you what it does. You're going to want to see what it does and you're going to want to interact with it. Uh, hope you learn something. Chem is not scary to get into. If you just look at the Wikipedia, which you're going to have to, it's very easy. It's a pretty stress-free job. Other than your damn co-workers, but whole different issues.